This is tutorial number six. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use the auto constraint tool. We have made this part in the previous tutorial. To go to the edit sketch again, you can right click on this sketch, as you see here on the part tray, sketch number one, right click and sketch one object edit or simply by double click on it and here we have added some dimension in the previous tutorial so I'm going to delete all these dimensions and constraint with, with the relation H delete and and here you can reach the auto constraint tool you just constraint here we can see the auto constraint this just the window smaller you have here the auto constraint tool you choose it and click the part which are going to be constrained either to click them all or some of them so now you have automatically added all the constraints and dimensions also one point about auto constraint now you have all the dimensions are defined you can edit them here as you want it might be easier than going to the constraint and back and dimensioning the, the profile but if you want to add a constraint to add another dimension it turns into purple that means it is not necessary to have this because it is already defined So now I can exit the sketch and see you in the next tutorial.